，反興奮劑政策一直備受爭議。同性戀運動聯會指出，運用政策喺同性戀運動上有一定嘅限制。The issue for us is we are in one of the world's largest sporting competitions internationally, 10,000 participants. However, it's not at the elite level. So you or I could decide I want to try badminton and just show up, pay our money, and compete in badminton. So that level of commitment as a professional athlete is not there at the same it is in a lot of the competitions that water rules address. He says. 有同性戀運動嘅參與者因為健康嘅問題而服用藥物，但係並冇機構願意為佢哋發出證明。聯會正係努力咁改善情況。What we want to do for the coming gay games is continue to work with anti-doping agencies to help educate about doping rules, the dangers of doping medication. However, we've chosen not to go down the testing. Path, because as I said, because of the the costs involved and the complications with our special population, as well as the invasion of privacy, really that's involved. Holland Anti-Doping Agency Ministry proposed another way to solve the problem. I would institute such a committee. We do that more often for other other specific games, and there, any athlete who would like to have a TV. Could go there and get it, and that would be basically, I think, the solution for the problem.